Well, at least we got the car out of the road and into the bushes. Not that it matters because there were no tire tracks. No one is driving this far out. Well, I'm just happy that we found some stale coffee and sugar in the car. Yeah, now we just got to figure out where the hell we are. So which way do you think it is to Bollyland? You know what <laughs> Katie O'Connor used to do? Sounds ridiculous, but she used to pray to St. Bridget for a sign. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. St. <laughs> Bridget, hello. We need a sign. What the hell was that? It was sheep. Oh, really? Because I thought it might have been crickets or something like that. <laughs> Smart. Or a wild goat, or maybe a mad cow coming to attack you. The cows don't attack me. Oh, well, you know, I'm a city boy. What do I know? You know what I think it was? I think it was St. Bridget saying that we need to hang out with some sheep. Hang out with them? Really? Yeah. What else are we going to do? Well, I guess, yeah. Let's go. Hey, Mac cannot keep you in here indefinitely. He hasn't even let me make a phone call. Yeah, well, it's easier for Mac to blame you than to just admit that Robin took off. Of course it is. Look what I did. Can you imagine if Robin had been unfaithful to you? Because, of course, it would still be your fault. I just want Robin to be back safe for Emma's sake. Emma's going to be fine. I was actually I was thinking about bringing her some ice cream, chocolate ice cream, this afternoon. Uh, if that's all right with you. Well, isn't this cozy? There's nothing like broadcasting your motive for getting rid of your wife. Times, but everything's good. Everything's fine. I'm gonna get out of here somehow, baby girl. I promise. Even if it takes a miracle. Miracles do happen. You happen. Mac is totally freaking out. He won't tell me anything. He keeps saying that's because he doesn't want to get civilians involved, but I know it's because he doesn't want me to make things worse or get in trouble. Well, Mac's a cop. He thinks like one. Yeah, well, I promised him I would stay out of trouble, so being here helping you is keeping me out of trouble. Uh, are you sure? Because finding me a dress seems pretty trivial at the moment. Helping me keep my promise to Mac is not trivial. Okay. Well, what do you recommend? Mom, you wear a lot of black. There's no reason to shy away from, like, a bold color or a strong print or two. Maybe something that'll catch Jason's eye. This is silly. Jason doesn't even notice clothes. Well, you're kind of doing this for yourself anyway to help you feel pretty and confident. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, I've been hearing about Brenda for years. Now I finally get to meet her. out of school my first day. Is it getting any easier? Uh, well, there's no more fights. I think most of the kids there are kind of afraid of me, though. Sometimes I'm afraid of myself. But no one understands what it's like, Jason, except for you. Um, I'm sorry I took off like I did. No, you know, don't be. You don't have to stick around in town just to babysit me. It's, it's fine. It just, I had a lot of people helping me out anyways, you know. You know, Mom, whether I like it or not, Dante, Sam. Actually, you know, Sam thinks you need to talk about Penville. That, that I need to talk about? She said that? Yeah, well, even though she was, uh, she was trying to get me to talk to her, I could see that. I don't know, she thinks that maybe if I talk about what happened, that somehow... 
It'll be easier. So, I mean, if you want to talk about it. Hey, Jason. Is uh, Spinelli around? Hi. Hi. Who's this? 